Hi, I'm Angie and I'm a shopaholic. It is a real problem, I swear to you. My phone is falling! <laughs> Hi, I'm Angie and I'm a bit of a shopaholic. It is a real problem in my life. <laughs> and that especially extends to thrifting. So I actually tried Toronto's new market by the pound thrift store. So you go in and whatever you decide to purchase, you put on a scale and weigh and they charge you by the pound, which is amazing. And yes, it does end up add up quick, quicker than you'd think. So I just want to share sort of my experience there. Um, first is a heads up if you're going to go Right now during COVID, obviously make sure you take as many precautions as you can, wear your mask, carry hand sanitizer, and try to keep your six feet well in the store, which can be difficult because a lot of people are there going through the items, looking for those fabulous finds, and just make sure you're being aware of that. And also when you purchase your clothes, make sure you wash them first. Generally, that's a rule of thumb when thrifting, but especially in this circumstance, like everything is in these large bins that are labeled so like dresses shirts jackets and you just dig through the bin to find whatever you're looking for so everybody's sort of touching everything and dealing with it all so just make sure you wash everything so my first fabulous find this jumpsuit oh my god this is amazing one of the first things i found there and it's perfect, fits me so perfect. It's actually by a Toronto-based designer called Birth of North America. It's beautiful, it's so well made. And obviously I just paid by the pound for it. When you look it up, the jumpsuits from this company actually run for $250, so it's an amazing steal and it fits me. Obviously it's a thrift store, so you're open to the will of whatever sizing that there is. So it's amazing that they had this and I'm so happy with this. Next up out of the skirts, this lovely tulle embroidered piece in really good condition. I believe it was ordered online from an Asian retailer and I can't tell where, but it is nicely made and I'm so excited to wear it because I'm super extra and it's gonna be fantastic. Next up, this stunning reversible blazer. You can switch it around and it becomes white and it's beautiful, it's very oversized, but like with a nice pair of jeans, super cute, I love it. Um, very nice condition, yeah. Super excited when I found these. I called them my fun pants. So fun and they're flared at the legs. So excited. Unfortunately, I didn't really read the labeling on these because um, we were trying to rush at the end and they're actually men's golf pants. They do fit me, but they are extremely low rise, <laughs> which is not flattering on me. So I need to figure out the best way to style them where my midriff is covered because it's too low for a cute crop but they are like really nice quality. Um, just make sure you're actually <laughs> reading the labeling so that you know those are not exactly what you intended. So many pairs of denim shorts there. It's still cold out, so I only got the one pair and I also, I never need denim shorts, but they're American Eagle. They look almost like they're brand new um, and they're in my size, nice little, oversized almost a mom fit but they're very cute there are tons of styles um there were a lot of like smaller sizes i don't know if that's just where i was looking and what they had just dumped in but it was difficult to find some larger sizes so that's something to watch out this dress is extremely small but i didn't care because i was getting it because it's a pink leather dress <laughs> Um, I have since tried it on and definitely won't be able to wear it as a dress, but I'm going to sort of crop it and wear it as a shirt. It's very cute. It's actually from Fashion Nova. So it was like a decently expensive dress, but 
a name that I definitely didn't think I would be able to find there. <laughs> Adorable plaid H&M dress. It's a little tight. It's a four and I'm usually a six, but it's, it's very cute. It does work. Um, giving me those clueless vibes again, looks like it was never worn, looks brand new after I've washed it. So amazing. I don't know why, but apparently I'm a sucker for jackets. So this little white denim jacket, it was actually in the children's section, but it fits on me great as like a little crop and obviously jackets you can try on in store if you'd like. Um, obviously you have to be careful, but I wanted just to see that it fit and it does. And I might um, upcycle it a little, like do something with the white denim. I haven't decided, but very cute. The perfect Steve Madden heel. There were so many shoes that were so cute. I definitely had to put more back just because shoes do weigh more than say a top and I wanted to get the most bang for my buck. So I only ended up getting this one pair of heels, but they fit me. They are a bit scuffed up. Um, they're definitely well worn more so than the um, clothes that I got. But I definitely think I can clean them up and they look nice where your feet actually go. So not a problem. Another jacket, this time a little denim with some distress. It is very cute, slightly cropped. Love it. Obsessed. Definitely going to be wearing it way too often in the spring and fall. Adorable little baby doll top. I have no idea why I grabbed this. It was just very cute. It was the last thing I grabbed, honestly, on the way to the register. And my mind was just like, oh, it's going to weigh nothing. Just add it to your cart. So <laughs> this was my last minute ad. Do you ever go to a thrift store and you see a piece and it doesn't fit you or it's not quite your vibe, but you're like, I can't walk away without this. That was this jacket. It is a true London fog trench coat. It's got the plaid, like a Burberry plaid. It's gorgeous. It looks brand new. It's got like the belt and these um, functional buckles on the wrists. It's so well made and lovely, but it's way too big for me. I was blinded <laughs> when I got it. Um, so I'm still deciding what I'm going to do with this but it is so sweet um, and I just couldn't walk away without it. That is my Market by the Pound haul. The biggest pieces of advice that I could give you are number one, to go in with an idea of what you're looking for. I went in just excited to try this new type of thrift shop. I wanted to see what there was and it was completely overwhelming because of that. I just wanted to go through everything see everything and then I had such a large selection at the end that I had to narrow through and I'm still not sure <laughs> what I put back and what I kept like so I would definitely say go in with an idea of like oh I'm looking for a great jacket so I'm gonna look in the jackets or like I'm looking for some new summer dresses like go because there is so much and there's so many people and there, there's so many options that you should go in with some ideas um bring a friend Honestly, I know thrift shopping and shopping at all is always better with a friend, but it's so great, especially, you know, your time in there is limited, your mirrors are limited, just to be able to like hold something up and get their opinion and bounce ideas off of them. Overall though, I would definitely recommend it. All of my items only came to $40. My roommate actually ended up finding $20 in the pocket of a pair of pants that she was looking at. So we each took $10 off our order. So I technically only paid $30, but it's it's really good for the price, but I would definitely go in with a plan, have an idea. And yeah, thank you so much.